reached out for my dreams. I reached out for my vision. I reached out for help that I thought I needed. Cause reaching out, reaching out is the proof of passion. Hello again, our most valued student. My name is Confident. Welcome to our lesson today on the exponential equations. Now, when we are looking at the exponential equations, what I want you to remember is the simple common law that we find in exponential equations. Now, it says if you are given a to the power x is equal to a to the power of y. Now, since the bases are the same, you can see the bases are the same. Therefore, you equate the exponents, which means, therefore, x is equal to a y. Similarly, if you are given the exponents, let's say you are given x to the power a is equal to, um, you are given now y to the power of a. This is another law. Now, since the exponents are the same, therefore, it means x is also equal to y. So these are the most common laws that I want you to remember when you are dealing with exponents. So now let us look at the first one that we're given here. It says simplify 2 to the exponent x is equal to 8. Now the first thing that you need to identify or to, 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 to simplify is how can I express 8 in terms of 2 so that I can use this law, which is matching of bases. As you can see, you match the bases. So how can we match the bases? You, 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 you can take a calculator and say, all right, I've got my 8. Now, if I can say 2 to the exponent 3 equal to 8. So you can say that in, in actual fact, um, 8 is same as 2 to the exponent of 3. So in this case, you are going to say 2 to the exponent x is equal to 2 to the exponent of 3. So now when the bases are the same, you equate the exponents. Therefore, x is simple equal to 3. So that's how you can solve that. Moving on also to another problem that is given. Now we are given an exponential equation problem. In this case, they are saying 3 to the power x squared. Okay, we have a base of 3 times, okay, 3 to the power 5x. We have a base of 3 times 3 to the power 6 is equal to a 1. So now because we are multiplying throughout, you can use the exponent to say a to the power m times a to the power of n, which is equal to the bases are the same, is a to the power m plus n. So on the left hand on the left hand side, you can have your three as the base in which you are adding x squared plus five x plus six. Remember. It is the exponent is equal to a 1. Now, what are we noting with the 1 again? If you still remember, we said any number to the power of 0 is a 1. So, if I can say, because we're given a 3 here, if I can say 3 to the power of 0, I will get a 1. So, in actual fact, what it means is I can express, this is the trick that they always bring. You need to express that. 5x plus 6. So whenever they give you a 1, you must express it in terms of that 3, which is same as 3 to the power of 0. Remember, any number of, any number to the power of 0 is equal to a 1. So now, with that in mind, you if the bases are the same, you equate the exponent. So now we've got the base of 3 of 3. Therefore, it means x squared plus 5x plus 6 is equal to what? Is equal to a 0. Now, when you're using the product sum method, you can factorize. Now, that is equal to 0. 
you you must learn how to factorize this um i have got a method that i use i call the product sum method you can find it in the previous lessons and it will be easier for you to factorize that you'll get that this is x plus three in this case and x plus two is equal to a zero therefore x plus three equal to zero or x plus two is equal to zero therefore x is equal to negative three or x is equal to negative two so these are the two values of x that are possible now if you want to go further you can do a proof to check if your answer is correct but it is not necessary remember when you are proving you just do it um outside the what you call you don't have to show it in your in your paper it's just a matter of proving so you can take your three let me just actually prove it in 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 the on this side as my proof i can take the first value of x to be minus three so you have, can have three to the power minus three squared times 3 to the power 5 minus 3 times 3 to the power of 6 and see what I'm, I'm getting if I can get my calculator now if I can punch as 3 to the power of bracket minus 3 which is also a squared play forward and times 3 to the power of 5 times negative 3 I've got that and then times 3 to the power of 6 and then it's giving me a 1 so this is equal to a 1 which is equal to my right hand side so it means the value of x is correct usually when the first one is correct the second one also can be correct so you can prove it and then okay let's prove the second one because sometimes you might find that it is not balancing so in this case i'm going to put the the value there is negative two negative two that's the value of x so if i can take my calculator again and what I have, as I did previously, it will be 3, 3 to the power of minus 3 squared. Now in this case we say it is 2, so it's not minus 3, it's minus 2 squared times 3 to the power of 5 minus 2 times 3 to the power of 6 so in this one what am I getting I'm getting a 0 let me just play back and see if everything is correct I think I made a mistake there I'm supposed to play forward and say times 3 to the power of 6 I'm getting a 1 so also where well, even the 2 I mean x is equal to negative 2 is correct so this is how you can be proving it so whenever you're given such a problem of an equation and you've got your values of x you can take it into the original so that you can prove if your answers are correct now we have come to the end of our lesson I will encourage you to practice more problems uh, requiring exponential equations. Thank you. I reach out for my dreams. I reach out for my vision. I reach out for help that I thought I needed. Cause reaching out, reaching out is the proof of